Looks cold here. He's wearing a lot. Back off or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not afraid of dying. Whoa, they've got like an accent already. Uh. Rob every corpse that washes up on shore. Taken from a corpse ain't theft. I'm a man of the isles. I don't reap. I don't sow. The waves bring me my harvest. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah, thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Ard Skellig. There's a witch at Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. That scorn I hear in your voice. You've good ears. Folks say this witch has got Croc wrapped around her finger. Orders everyone about. Word is she's vicious at it. But a hag's a hag. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you'd think she was a beached orca. <laughs> Fact is, even those who see her for a wench should gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. Yennefer's not all bad, once you get to know her. <laughs> Take your word for it. Know the way to Kertrolda? I expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long. Thank you. Whoa, why do I... Why am I... I'm not on a boat anymore. But I'm shaking. Oh. <laughs> Trofas? Do you want to follow your owner? Probably. Oh. Wow. There is a place of power right here. Did anybody else make it? Hmm. Magic. A place of power. Oh my god. Oh, what the? The sky? Whoa! I don't know what that is. A siren. Wait, I thought you guys were in the... I thought you guys were in the water. Why are you flying above me? Ow! Oh my god. I'm completely out of my element right now. Yo! Oh, hey! Take turns! Show me what you got. Get it! Come on! <laughs> I didn't even see that they were above me. At all. Until they started attacking. Yeah? Ow. Come back here. Is it you? The one who crashed our ship? What happened to the pirates? Sirens. Did the captain die? Oh my dear god. I'm not ready for all this action. I just woke up. Siren vocal cords. Oh my god. We gotta look at the map as soon as I check out the area around here. Why does it keep doing that? <laughs> I'm holding it down. Axie. All of our luggage. Everything. If the captain was here, I don't know where he is now. 
Siren Den. Gotta ruin it for them. Oh, you made a den on our ship? How long have I been stranded here? Oh my god. Damn, you're ugly. What? Oh! Oh no, there's a better one. Echidna? Yup, come down here. I'll fight you. These guys are crazy. Now let me go back there and get the the thing from the the nest again. Just the usual stuff, pretty much. Where are we? Oh my god, we're not even we're not we don't have the same map anymore. It's a different place. But we can travel to some places already. Despite never having been there yet. Okay. And right now, we're trying to get to Care Trolled. What does Care mean? Care Morin? Care Trolled? Did we previously have entries for the Siren already? Because it didn't give us a new one just now. Yeah, we did. Oh, what about the other one? The stronger one? I don't think we have it here. Oh, we know this already. It has wings. It's not really the more traditional kind of siren that I think about when I think sirens. You know, like the, the statue attached to the front of the ship or whatever. We must have already read this previously. They can transform to resemble beautiful human maidens. Ard? Igni? Ard to get them down. Hybrid oil. Grape shot. Hybrid! Are you like a hybrid between a monster and a, a pretty woman? I don't think so, because you transform to resemble human maidens. Lamia's... that was not what we saw. Oh. Virtually defenseless on the ground. Yeah, well, we did okay. We did okay. Kind of scary, though. We're gonna have to watch out for the skies here. Yeesh. And uh, I don't think anybody... Besides us made it out of that. Huh? And I probably only made it out of it because I'm a witcher. Most other people on board were not as strong as I am. Mm, and even I was fainted for a few hours. That was really quite something. If we want to get to... Care Trolled. We just gotta follow the marker, but I wonder what this is. What is this? Oh! Oh my god, there's another ship here. Oh, Skellige. It must be kind of hard to reach here. These storms might be pretty commonplace. Not really a unique thing. Oh. What was that? Picked up a sword just now, but didn't see the name. Oh, they have really similar names. Either way, though, it's not really any swords that we need. They all look so cool, though. I love it. I love it. We see, uh... Ooh, there's a little town over there. It's not quite where we need to be. But it's not like anyone said we can't go there. Blood moss was a bit of a rarity in the main island, but there's so much of it here. Wait, is blood moss made by, like, people's blood mixing in with, um, the soil or something? It's not, right? That's just its name? Hopefully. Okay, if I look on the map... Um, I can probably get to Caratrol just by following the main road. Why don't we do that? Out of curiosity, though. Destination Skellige is level 16. The other two are... hmm. Actually, they're lower levels. If they're closer, I would be okay with going to them first. Where are they? 
Okay, there's one here. Meet Nidas near the collapsed bridge to the north of Erinborn. Ah, this is the guy back in Novigrad who was like, Oh, please come to Skellige with me! Something Black Pearl! <laughs> Vaguely remember seeing him. And then the other one... This is with Lambert, right? Uh, or maybe he's not here, but we're looking for the people who killed his friend. Okay, that's quite far away. You know what? Let's just go find Yennefer. Or, you know, go to Care Trolled. I think Yennefer's there, but I'm not actually too sure. <laughs> I love how people who've met her for like, what, two minutes already think she's really prickly and hard to deal with. Oh, we definitely have a new set of question marks here again. In Skellige. It's just that we don't know about it yet. Did I get you? Uh, Draconid oil, right? Draconid oil. It's not exactly the lowest of levels, so I really shouldn't be doing this so haphazardously. Alright, dude. That works. Don't fly! Ow. Not bad. Ooh. Oh, this dude died here. Maybe we'll see some new herbs in Skellige too. The vegetation and the, the climate, all of that's different, right? So what were you guarding? Didn't even see the chest, but it's... It's been looted. Was it just this guy? Oh, okay. Oh wow, look at that. I don't even know if that's the, the sun or the moon. This is not a road. <laughs> Where did we end up going up to? Oh, by the way, we have a we have a point now, so we can probably do something about that. Acquired tolerance. I feel like right now it's okay. Yeah, for my purposes, just having one is way better than having no no points at all. But do we need another point into it right now, or would we benefit from having a point elsewhere? Um, heightened tolerance. When am I gonna unlock this one? 28! That's gonna be a long while. Well, we got a whole bunch of these general ones, but... Besides for things like, oh, increase your weight capacity. Which is nice, but I don't really feel like, um... Yeah, I don't really feel like wasting a point for that. Yeah, this one. Okay, well... Hmm. All of the ones that we're using right now, I think we already have the... Oh, strength training. Strong attack damage. This is okay, because I don't really use strong attack as often as I use fast attack. It's nice to have it max, but I think we can probably benefit from... Maybe moving down here? Because I've just been upgrading the basic ones, but I haven't really moved down. Precise blows. Well, the, the reason why I haven't moved down is because it's hard to move down when you don't even have unlocked slots. Undying. Oh! When vitality reaches zero, adrenaline points will immediately be consumed to restore it. Oh. We don't die that much, do we? Sometimes we do. <laughs> Damage from hits received while dodging is reduced by 20%. Hmm. None of these ones really stick out to me like, oh yeah, we gotta get it right now. Maybe critical hit. Yeah. But if we want to reach the further ones in the down the rows, then we have to put more into the previous rows. That's sort of the annoying thing too. Okay, well, you know what? Let's just put something into strength training then. Hopefully we can unlock some of these. Yeah. But it's gonna take a bit of a while. Eight more points until we can unlock it. Oh, two more points here. Ah, maybe should have gone for this one instead. Okay, well, that's fine. That is fine. Okay, don't fall down. Pretty mountainous here. Riding Roach might be a bit of a problem. Wait, do I have another point? 
The thing is still showing... Oh, I had two points! Okay. Didn't realize. Did I level up that much? Uh, maybe into the... Signs? Not using Art Sweep right now, but if we're gonna be here, seeing a bunch of flying things, Art Sweep might be a good one to have. Well, Art Sweep is for multiple things, right? Um... Yeah, all of these ones are pretty much full. Sustained Glyphs. Far-reaching Art. Let's try putting one into Art Sweep, and then putting Art Sweep in place of... Fire stream. Yeah. I noticed that, um, yeah, our sign intensity here. This one has 40, this one has 20. Probably because, because I have more blue on this side. Hmm. Wonder if that makes a difference. Well, whatever. Anyway. Fork in the road leading to Care Trolled. Thank you. There is a small village here. Ranveig. Let's just keep going. <laughs> I'm calling Roach, but I'm not riding her at all. Wow, unexpectedly quiet. Looking at all these mountains around us. It's a much more mountainous region. A whole bunch of things over there. Are they flying? Mm, seems scary. Let's not talk to them. Oh? He drank three pots of hot stopper, a bottle of rum, and washed it all down with wine. Rose next morn without a murmur and went hunting. Show me what you got from the island. shit's an affront to my wit. Clan on crate? Ah, we had the option to ask that guy earlier if he was from this clan. Hmm? Is that the Newcomer. ruling clan? Yes! Hello. Every man on the continent so bloodless. Bloodless? Greetings. Looking to buy? Show me your wares. The Lonesome World Guide to Art Skellige Other. Oh, reading this guidebook will unlock certain fast travel points in Skellige. Okay. All of them? Okay, why not? Master crafted, we don't need that. Rugged, mine's better. Well, fast travel points, it's nice to get them, but we would naturally get them anyway, if we just go to those places. But, you know, it's still nice to have, so whatever. Wow, gave him like a thousand crowns just now. Better be grateful. I'm a big patron here. In return, you can have all of this. Is that better than the one I have? Nope. This glare. And... Yeah, I'll keep the relic swords. Why not? This one's better, but I can't equip it yet. Okay, well, cool, thank you. Have this. <laughs> Still give him a thousand crowns. So long. Swords on his Did I automatically unlock those places, or do I actually have to read the things? Oh my lord. What time of year is the best for visiting Art Skellig? Any time. To whom is such a sojourn recommended? To anyone who seeks adventure, craves miraculous views, and adores charming villages, these last Arc Skellig has in spades. It is the most densely inhabited isle in the archipelago, though this does not mean it lacks virgin forests or untrampled, la untrammeled landscapes. Particularly worthy of a visit are the villages of Ranveig, Arenborn, and, last but not least, Holmstein, one of the most important ports in all of the isles. Anyone lucky enough to enjoy the sea voyage to Arenborn will surely notice the majestic lighthouse guiding ships to its harbor. Built at the behest of the famed Jarl Skordal, it constitutes one of the most fascinating spots on the isle and offers breathtaking views of the entire region. The most spectacular vista on Art Skellig, however, must certainly be that of Kerr Trold, a fortress cut out of the mountain overlooking the bay and serving as home seat to the powerful Ancrate clan. According to legend, Grimjar, 
mythical Skellige hero and founder of the clan on Crate, carved the fortress with his bare hands. For more on this, see the history and culture sections. Okay, so I think we basically bought a brochure. <laughs> That's what we did, right? Ranveig, Aranborn, and Holmstein. So do I now have these places? I know we had Ranveig already. That was this one. Redgill, Grotto. Oh, I think they all appeared already. Where's Aranborn? Oh, okay. Wait, so the main island is called Skellige? And the entire, like, including all the small ones, is called Ard Skellig? The Skellige Isles? Don't know. Dude, where the hell is- oh, here it is. Aranborn. Oh, okay. Uh, that's a lot of brochures. So maybe we'll read two for now and save the other ones for when we reach the other places. Good to get a rundown on the history, though, because if you notice just now, they call their kings Jarls, not kings. It's a different culture here. And Skellig is a wary traveler's paradise. Those seeking respite from the hustle and bustle of urban life need look no further. Those yearning for peace, quiet, and transcendental views, the kind that leave one short of breath and renewed in spirit, will find satiation on this isle. Here, one may enjoy long walks along the most charming beaches in the isles, Ones whose beauty far outshines that of the decidedly overrated coasts of Kovir. Yet the true jewel of Anne Skellig is its port, which is famed for its skilled craftsmen, considered by many to be the best in the Isles. Anne Skellig's shipbuilders have passed down the secrets of their trade from generation to generation for centuries, perfecting it into something which can proudly and with no exaggeration be called an art. Naturally, as a result, one must wait twice as long for a vessel ordered from the local shipwrights than when ordering from lesser workmen. Oh. Lastly, it would be a crime to discuss Anne Skellig without mentioning this superb and surprisingly sophisticated local cuisine. What do you mean surprisingly? <laughs> its specialty, sturgeon roasted to golden perfection in a sea salt crust and served with carrot shavings and a sprinkling of mint. Mint? In food? I hate mint. <laughs> Sadly, this dish, once a mainstay of every tavern and seaside fish fry, now has become a rarity due to the overfishing that caused a dramatic decline in the population of that most delicious of fish. Overfishing. That's a problem, huh? Alright, we'll save the other ones for later. You know, new markers. Eldberg Lighthouse. Sorry! Very, very sorry. Yeah, we didn't actually have to read them to get the markers. It's nice to have them anyway. Uh, Slow now. Yeah, I noticed there's a camp here. I heard the bunny goats take you. Faster. You guys? I mean, whoa, you guys are kind of tough. Uh, you set up camp really close to the other place. Ooh, beautiful. Now, was there a question mark here, or were you guys just here? Uh... Ooh... Oh, there's words! Like, I can read them, right? <laughs> oh... Huh. Actually, not much here. Just two random guys hanging out. Okay. There's one big beast over there, it seems. Okay, that's cool. We gotta watch our step here. Yeah, sometimes it gets mountainous really, really quickly. Is that... No, that's not care trolled. Where is that? Oh, it is... Uh, it leads down the same path, pretty much. Hello? Olaf. Just don't go pestering folk. I won't. Hey there! Come take a gander! Greetings. Looking to buy? Show me your wares. Oh, you got even more brochures! Are you kidding me? Really? 
Uh, it's, oh, I haven't read these ones, but I have them already, right? It's the same ones. Yeah, okay. Nothing then, thank you. So long. Is Galaga kind of a tourist location then? Because all these merchants have brochures. They expect foreign people to be coming here. I don't see anyone in Novigrad giving me brochures. Nostrix. That sounds new. Nobody here. Will people here get mad if I try to steal things? We have yet to see. Is this someone's home? More importantly, does it matter? No. Of course not. It's 8 p.m. right now. People shouldn't be sleeping, but they might be hanging out at home. There's nobody here, so maybe this is... This is a guard post? Oh. Nope. Getting that. <laughs> oh. Are these windows or what? I guess they are. And then for some reason... <laughs> we can just climb onto the roof of this little guard place. Whoa, look at that. Cool. We'll slowly wrap around and eventually go to the port. Look at the difference in elevation though. We're definitely going the wrong way if we want to go down. <laughs> But I want to see. And I'm sure once we wrap around enough, there's going to be a way to get down, right? Actually looking at it like this, maybe there isn't. Okay, we'll we'll figure this out another time. Let's go the other way. Hey yeah. Good thing Roche can't get hurt. Seems like a place where she could get hurt very easily here. Low now. Whoa. Hmm. Hello. Care trolled harbor. With a wolf running around. Oh, is that that guy's wolf? Yes. Why can't I play today, da? We've got to go to the port. Bid farewell to King Bran. It's not fitting to play Agnet. Who'll be king of Skellige now? None know that, but the gods will make sure it'll be one worthy, one before who it'll be no shame to bow our heads. Will you help a man in need? King Bran? Did King Bran die? They're looking for a new king. Not a weakling, I reckon, but my coin says he can't beat the giant. Oh, new varieties, broken ores. Special, exclusive to Skellige. <laughs> Sorry to trouble you, but I really have no choice. What is it? Our ship was wrecked against the rocky shore June in the last storm. I've lost everything. How am I supposed to help? I haven't even got the coin for the journey home, and with each day's delay, I draw closer to bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. Might have guessed you'd come around to coin. So, need a loan? Or is it just alms you're after? I shall pay you back every last copper, I swear it. You need only call on me at my address in Novigrad. Uh, getting poorer and more bankrupt every day. Don't quite buy that story, but you know, okay. Yeah, pay it forward. Fine, I'll help you. I visit Novigrad often enough. Might stop by, see how business is going. Thank you. You'll find me in the port district. My name's Johan Bonner. See you later then. This sounds trustworthy enough. But what we would really want to do here is buy the ticket for him, right? Not give him the money. <laughs> People are crying. What's going on here? One at a time, please! Death of a king. 
This here's my chance. Now Don't here's you see? a manly one. This one ballad could make me Not climb like to your sex court scorn. Death of a king. Yes, this king hey. brand. Oh, died. Our time amongst the living <laughs> is but the wink <laughs> of an <laughs> eye. When our lads go to sea, send Mega Storm or Tempest. What's left when we are gone? Is it the ceremony? How shall we be remembered? <laughs> Will they speak of us with respect? Aye. <laughs> You need not do this, child. I know, but I want to. Is madness. Such a young lass. Berna should be the one going. They shared a bed long Silence. Longer. It is her decision. This is very Game of Thronesy. She's not gonna die too, is she? Hey. You look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. of Clan Twirsech has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. This is a funeral, people. You knew Bran? Yes, he was well respected, unlike his wife. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates of Caer Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach, dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. The wife? The the lady that went to the ship just now is a lesser wife? They shared a bed not as long? Oh my god. Uh, come on. 
I, just, I mean, I don't really care about King Brand, but it seems kind of disrespectful to just, you know, when in Rome, something something. Come to the wake with me. Gladly. Feasts in Skellige, so predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah, nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanid? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. Oh. Oh yeah, she can read my mind. Reading my mind again? Mm. What's more, I like what I see. <laughs> Did you learn anything in Velen? Velen. Awful place. Somehow Ciri wound up at the castle of the local ruler, a baron, self-proclaimed. This was after she was injured. Injured? Was it serious? Don't think so. Must have recovered because this baron sent her on to Novigrad. Think she was looking for you at the time. These witches Ciri came across, she was lucky to escape them. Witches? Creatures more like. Can't say exactly what they are, but they're dangerous. Very. Also ran into an old friend of ours in Velen. Kira. What on earth is Kira Metz doing in that wasteland? Hiding from witch hunters. Listen, she told me an elven mage had been there looking for Ciri. Good. You'll need to tell me more when we have some time. Been to Novigrad. Ciri was there, looking for a way to lift some curse. She's not there anymore. You're certain? Heard it from Dandelion, with no embellishments. Do you know any more about this curse? Not much. Ciri ran into some trouble, never finished what she went there to do. I recovered a phylactery. She was looking for a way to enchant it. I'll look at it later. How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. Ermion's head of the Skellige Circle? Haven't seen him since... Um... Since Siri was a little girl. I doubt he'll do you any favors. Not even for old time's sake. Was that the guy with the three branches? I don't remember him from the books. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf! Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake. And I'll not accept any excuses. I have an important matter to discuss with you. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go. Choose something. In the meantime, I've something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. Complimentary to black and white? So, white and black? <laughs> right off the bat? Uh, there were a few pretty distinctive looking people in the wake just now. There was a girl with scars on her face. There was a man with one eye blinded. Mm -hmm. And the wife. The wife who is not well respected, surprisingly. Despite the king being well respected. That's really strange. Oh. Uh, right off the bat. 
I get the sense that Skellige is a place that really, really values things like tradition and doing things the quote-unquote the right and proper way. So I honestly wouldn't be surprised if the, the queen is not well respected because she's a foreigner or something stupid like that. Like, oh my god, you are not born on the Skellige Isles, so you are, you're never gonna be one of us. Did that lady really die though? Like, sacrificing herself to accompany the king to the underworld or something? Greetings. Oi. Almost like a Egyptian mummy tradition sort of thing. <clears throat> Burning things for the people in the afterlife. Berna, the wife. It can be difficult for a woman to gain the esteem of knights and warriors, not accustomed- Oh, yes, she's a woman, okay? Automatically we don't respect her. <laughs> and warriors, not accustomed to seeing female hands on the reins of power. It helps little when, like Berna, widow of King Bran of Skellige, the woman seeking power is filled with acrid disdain for her countrymen and their customs. One might argue that disdain is a valid reaction when, in the case of the passing of a man of power, those customs call on her to follow long since outdated ritual and cast herself on her husband's funeral pyre. Justified or not, Berna's desire to rewrite age-old Skellige traditions put her at odds with the Jarls and made it unlikely she would be remembered alongside Calanthe of Sintra or Meave of Lyria as a successful and revered ruler. Mm, she's trying to bring about change here, and you know how we feel about change. We don't like change. I actually don't feel like Skellige disrespects women though. That child was a woman, wasn't she? And there were like, you know, women with scars and whatnot at the wake. King Bran. Former king of the Skellige Isles lived a long and storied life. When he finally felt decrepitude taking a hold of him, he went into the woods to hunt a bear armed with only a knife, and thus ended his reign. Isn't that exactly what happened in Game of Thrones? Like Robert Baratheon? It was remembered as an honorable and respected one, though some complained he preferred raiding to confronting the Isles' long-term problems, and that he let his wife's tongue wag too freely. Some connected the two, claiming Bran sailed out to fight overseas battles to put off dealing with the ones awaiting him at home. Croc on Crate Ah, you're the clan leader. Skellige sagas brim with praise for war chiefs and warrior braves of ages past, yet the saga of Croc, Jarl of Clan Oncrate and Lord of Kertrold will outshine them all. It will sing of his strength, his courage, his wisdom, his generosity, his loyalty to friends, and his relentless pursuit of his foes. There will be few exaggerations in such a tale, for Croc, the mightiest of Skellige's Jarls, truly did possess all the traits of a hero. He aroused terror in his enemies. In fact, Nilfgaardian mothers would use his name to frighten their children into obedience, and all in that empire spoke of hushed tones of the infamous Tirth Ismir, the wild boar of the sea, who devastated coastal provinces during frequent and terrible raids. Geralt had known Croc for long, since a time when as a young man, the Jarl had sought the hand of a young Pavetta, Ciri's mother. Oh, is that where he came from? I completely don't remember him. Yeah, he must be one of the suitors. Ermion. Yeah, yeah, the guy with the branch. Most druids in Skellige differ from the deeply rooted, ha, <laughs> deeply rooted, like the, the branches, <laughs> continental stereotype of a gray bearded old man in white robes bowing before sacred oaks, taming wyverns and pestering local lords with petitions to add yet another species to the list of protected beasts. Ermion, Geralt's old acquaintance, was no exception to this regard. This stiff bearded, spindly man was the leader of the druids' circle in Skellige. He was also Jarl Croc Uncrate's advisor on matters of magic and the mystical, as well as on any and all issues requiring more refinement than a well-timed uppercut or a hard-swung axe. Ermion was known to be obstinate and have a tendency, quite rare in Skellige, to consider all possible consequences of a particular course of action before it was undertaken. All this meant that conversing with him demanded a considerable amount of time and patience. Ho. Oh. Taller. Geralt was not expecting to meet Bernard Ducat, former head of Temerian intelligence in such circumstances. Their relationship went back a long ways, to the time when Ducat was leading an espionage operation in the Vizima Temple district disguised as a fence named Taller. 
Taller the Fence was known for his gruff manners and extremely filthy tongue. Taller was also the ex of Shawnee. I don't know how he was dating around when he had a spy job, but maybe that's part of the disguise? Much had changed since those days, but Clogs the Cobbler, as Ducat now called himself, was as rude as vulgar as Taller had ever been. His exact role in the attack on Radovid was not clear, but considering his experience and professionalism, one could hardly expect him to share that information, not even with an old friend. Can't take this. You gotta be careful here, don't want to piss off the Skelligers. He's not pissed off. A lot of boats here. So we want to go to the Care Troll Keep, which is probably where we were heading towards if we were still on that mountain. Go to Yennefer's rooms and put on formal attire. Mm. Let's find the notice board first. Oh. No one's home. Oh, we're gonna see a lot of broken oars and fishing nets here, aren't we? It's a very... Oceanic... Place. Oh! Sleeping. Huh, wonder if that's some symbol. Oh, that's like a boat, right? The end of a boat. Hello, geese? Did we look at the thing? One of the busiest ports in Skellige. Goods from every corner of the world are brought here to be sold and traded. Ah, it's like the, the big place here. I just realized why they gave you the fast traveling points. Because they don't want you to go by boat, right? They don't want you to be like, Oh my god, I want to go here, but I gotta take a boat and swim all the way over there. Ah, smart. What is it? Ah, what were you guys talking about? Listen, Witcher. Got us some weird diablin. You know, drowners. Real problem. The kind your silver sword could most certainly solve. Mere the Yablin. Yeah, that's what a witch malaw can do. Kill those. Let me guess. They're tearing your nets, devouring your fish, and attacking the occasional lone boatman or tavern patron who walks home along the shore. Were that the only harm? Terrors in the bay are meaner than on the continent. They hunt come dusk or dawn. Attack fishermen wielding just oars and warriors alike. Sea tosses them up after. Armor shredded, guts devoured. Strange. Any witnesses? Rurik, my apprentice. He was on a boat the Muir Diablin attacked. There's Tove too. Her man was killed. She lives nearby, up a bit. Sorry, none of it comes to mind. Those who see the beasts, meet him. Well, they generally don't come back to dry land alive. <sighs> hey, we haven't haggled in a while. Let's talk about my pay first. A bit too modest for my taste. <laughs> you don't have to you don't have to say the second line, okay? That's ruining your negotiations. That's just a bit high, master. Oh really? Come on. Here? That steer it is, but could be worth it. All right, I'll pay you what you want. Thank you. I'll take the job. Dealt with drowners many times. It'll soon be over. Got my word on that. God, even on the main continent. Even on the main continent, drowners are annoying enough. Let alone an isle. An isle, by definition, is covered by water on all four sides, right? Oh, they're making tons of boats here. For the Skellige Isles, the main professions would be like fishing, boat Her making. Don't eat so much. Why the spit not? Because if you get hit in the gut and those herrings get tangled in your entrails, there'll be no hope for you. 
Falmer's right. They serve our king worthily. Shouldn't eat or drink too much for Indeed. a raid. We'll meet again. After though, we'll rebel till you drop. And feast at his table. And sing his praise. Did a horse die? Oh my god. That doesn't seem like a normal death. Oh, they were talking about a... Anomaly. Is that related to the anomaly? Because that head looks really... Anomalous to me. <laughs> Greetings. Ugh. Gross. Message from the Druids. Sons and daughters of Clan and Crate. Every year the winters grow more severe. The snows melted later. The ice recedes later. Crocuses grow later. And ewes lamb later. So let this be a warning. Start saving food early. Dry it and smoke it. Lest you not make it through the next frost. The snows melt later. Is that like, um, Ithleen's prophecy? With the white frost and all? You know, because the world is coming to an end while we're doing plays and going to brothels and whatnot. Contract, stolen sword. Olaf, lead guard at Care Trolled, would like to make the following known. Someone snuck into the Ancrate armory and stolen the sword known as Kuliu. The yellow-bellied scoundrel who did the deed was seen leaving the village via the southern gate, heading towards the old fort. Whoever helps recover the sword will receive a reward worthy of his efforts, and whoever helps the thieves, a death worthy of his treachery. Woodland Spirit Warriors of Skellige! If there is man of ye brave enough to face the Woodland Spirit, the cruel oppressor of the inhabitants of Fairland, he'll get a reward that'll keep him in mead for a long while. We're not rich, but we've gathered a fair bit of coin between us. Come to Fairland and ask for Sven. Sven and Olaf in the same village? <laughs> Have I been watching too much Frozen? Contract, Mir Dieblin. Oh, is that the one that we just got? Craving glory and gold? Got a sharp blade and not feared of death? Then come see Bjorg, the master boat builder. Yeah, that's the one that we just got. Gwent lessons. I am currently taking on pupils for lessons in the playing of Gwent. I shall only teach those who display discipline, a logical mindset and the will to learn. Those with special aptitude are particularly welcome. Pupils must acquire and supply their own decks. I am also seeking more experienced players as partners to provide a challenge and a chance for mutual improvement of our skills. Oh. Fist fights. Strong as a sea lion, slippery as an eel, and ready to fight against the beast? Join our tournament and face the mightiest fists in the aisle, Valrad of Caretrolled. Einar of Pharaoh and Grimm and Erinborn. Don't delay. Glory and honor are just a fist fight away. Ah, <sighs> that made me tired. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Lots of new things to do here. I am so sorry, oh, Kitty. Did him good. Oh, it's hissing ah, at me. Sigmund pulled out his guts and made him run around a tree till he ran out. A guts. That is. Oh, I missed it again. Anything close by besides for picking out clothing? Oh my god, level 30. Okay, guess we're not doing that. Oh, I can talk to the witnesses of the Drowner attacks. Okay. Let's do that first. It should be back here. We do eventually have to go to the Black Pearl one and the Lambert one. Uh... Whoa, we got so many quests here. It's been a while since I've felt so overwhelmed because we were settling into Novigrad so nicely. We have to change the quest to begin with. Co oh, it's a contract, right? Contract. Oh! Well, what is it? You? Are you a witness? Every man on the continent so bloodless. Rurik, right? Heard you were on a boat the Drowners attacked. Aye, I was. With Ulf, my cousin, gathering our crab traps off the Kerrig cliffs. Ulf was pulling up a line, having a hard time of it. You know, grand, I thought. Cage has got to be full, it'll be a good haul. Then something tugged back and down. Weren't a blink and Ulf was underwater. Called after him once, twice, thrice. Then the water went red with blood. And I smelled something horrid. Rotten, but worse. 
than the moir diablin flipped the boat. Don't even know how I made it ashore. Must have had Freer watching over me. That, or the monsters had eaten their fill. Thanks for the story. All these names here. Olaf, Your Sven, Freya, well. Ulf. Uh, probably Skellige has a lot of Norwegian influence, I think. Is that what it is? Are you Tove? I was told drowners killed your husband. Then you were told right. First the sea took my son, and now my man. I'm the only one left. Kivilla, our son, he went out fishing and didn't come back. My man would walk out to the Kierag Cliffs every day to watch for his boat. I told him he cannot bring him back to life, and that he could die himself. We'd heard about drowners, but he couldn't sit still. Donned his old coat and went. One night, he didn't come home. I fetched me brother, grabbed a torch, and we went looking for him. The Muera Diablin. Sea fiends. They clawed him so bad, I only knew him by his coat. Small comfort, I know. But the drowner problem will soon end. I promise you that. Farewell. Oh no, now I feel bad for haggling. <laughs> Because it's probably just these people gathering all of what they own to give to me, right? Now where do we actually go exterminate them? Ah, look! It, oh my god! We just looked at one notice board and there's that many question marks already? Oh no no no, it's because they, they come from the board itself, not the documents on the, the board. Holy god. Why, that's 32 already! Oh my god! <laughs> Well, we'll get this once we once we go deal with the drowners. Yeah. Just trying to think here. Do we want to um, go to the wake? I think we should because the wake is tonight, right? Canonically. If we keep putting it off, it's going to be like 20 days from now. After we already sent King Brand's pyre so far off. <laughs> 